hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here you are welcome please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial today i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started okay guys go to your file menu then you click on new then i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 so over here i'm going to change it from inches to pixels then input 1080 by 1080 and leave your resolution at 300 then rgb for social media post and if you want to print then make sure that you change it to cmyk color mode so this is for social media post so i'm going to use rogb color mode then click on grids go to your resource file import this image then reduce the size import this one reduce the size And go back to your resource file to import this one also reduce the size then the last one import this one and reduce the size Now convert it to smart top subject. Okay. So I've been done this one now. Then the next we are going to apply the background then go back to your resource file to import this background here and scale it out Reduce the upside. Apply Gaussian blur. Then input 8.4. Then go back and import this one. Then drag it up. Then leave it at this position now we are going to apply our blending mode select luminosity apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and blend it Now import this particle drag it up all right then change the blending mode to screen apply your layer mask and blend the button Okay, like this.
import this worship image then reduce the size and drag it over here change it to luminosity reduce the opacity to 41% apply your blending mode Okay. Now we have to adjust this image. So okay like this. Now, import the church logo, reduce the size, then we are going to position it around here. Then go to your test document, then copy the church name. Select your test tool or press T on the keyboard. Then apply center alignment. Change the font to a vertical. Now we are going to reduce the size. And position it around here. Then copy this one. We have to duplicate this one. Highlight it. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font color to yellow. Reduce the character spacing. It's okay like this. Zero percent. Okay, so now we are going to apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Control plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then we are going to remove the character spacing to 0%. Then change the font color. 
so this is the color we are going to use then also change the font to ultra contest over here is the font now scale it out then apply this one to make it more bold then we are going to close the character spacing a little by minus 60% And go back and copy this one select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste then we are going to change the font color to yellow or orange color then increase the size And here we are going to use this font here so copy it go back to your font and paste it then you select the font and scale it out something like this follow the process and use this setting Remove the contour. Circle like this. Then also we are going to apply a drop shadow on this one. Apply the setting over here. Then you click OK. Now we are going to draw a rent angle. Then what I did is to duplicate it, or you can use Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Now hold your shift key while you drag this one back. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool and blend it. Here is the outcome.
increase the size Import this icon. Reduce the size. Control plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste, then change the font color to black. Then also we are going to change the font to a vertical. Then I um, break it this way. Make it bold. Then increase the size. All right, so now change the color. Apply hue and saturation. I've changed it to white. Copy this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to a track on test. Then change the font color to white. Now increase the size. Increase it. So now we are going to import this icon for the time. Now go to hue and saturation. 
and change the color to white So what I did is to duplicate it also duplicate this one bring it over here All right. Yeah. Copy this one. Select the test tool. Highlight this one. The control plus the feature paste. Now we are going to increase the size Hold your shift key while you select it Then you increase the size together Increase the size of this one. So, the last thing we are going to import this one. Position it over here. Then change the blending mode to soft light. Now reduce the opacity to 76%. Now import the light flare. Reduce the size. Drag it to this position. Then change the blending mode to screen. So here is the outcome of the design. Thank you guys so much. Please, if you need any of this flyer, don't forget to go to my Fiverr account and make your order. And remember to share, like if you like this video. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys.